So to talk about it, the uh, attorney, Rachel Kugel, joins us right now. And, you know, it's it is a headline, no matter what you think of the former president. We've never seen this before, so I would say anytime you've never seen anything before, that's a that's a news story. There, there's a, a Politico article that mentions Michael Cohen is supposed to be the key witness, and it's it's only interesting to me because of again the headline in it: Michael Cohen on the Trump trial. Prepare to be surprised. I don't know. Should we? Be, what what do you think? Should we be prepared to be surprised next week? Yeah, we, we should not prepare to be so surprised because uh, there would be a real problem if we're surprised because in criminal law, there should be no surprises. There's there's a process of discovery. There's a process of, you know, drafting complaint and information documents. Um, the defense absolutely should be on notice of what the state's evidence is, of who it is. Um, you know, he mentions in that interview that uh, he's referring to corroboration, right, and how much corroboration um, that the state actually has with regard to these um, charges. There is no way that the defense should be surprised. And um, and if there is anything that that you know, <laughs> that the defense is shocked by, you can uh, bet your life they will be jumping up and down saying that there's some discovery or Brady violation here because that is the, the, the bedrock of a criminal trial is no surprise for the defense. So it's interesting, Cohen, of course, supposed to be the star witness and he's the former fixer for Trump and he's, he was the guy that uh, you know, handed over these hush money payments to the uh, former porn star and Stormy Daniels in this case way back before the election in 2016. We've talked to legal people about this time and time again. The, the, I don't know if it's a consensus, but a lot of people say this is the one case that's not as strong as some of the other cases. So I'm curious if you agree with that or how do you see this case compared to some of the other cases being made against the former president? It's, it's a ridiculous case. It's a shouldn't even be brought so then in your view. It, it's so flimsy. And, um, you know, if we weren't dealing with the defendant we're dealing with, this would never have been brought. Um, you know, there, there's almost, there's nothing here that's really illegal. And um, the district attorney in New York seems to not care that there's no sort of crime underlying this. Um, that seems to be sort of an afterthought, you know, the pesky constitution and everything. Um, it doesn't seem to matter to anybody. And, and it's shocking for me watching this as an aside, because it's something that um, just anybody, I mean, it, it, your first day of law school, you should be able to see that there's there's nothing here. Um, there's nothing illegal about, about hush money. There's there's nothing. I mean, it sounds like scandalous, but there's actually nothing illegal about that. You're absolutely permitted. People do non-disclosure agreements and things like that all the time, especially celebrities. There's nothing illegal about it. So then they try to say, well, you know, putting it on the balance sheet is somehow illegal. But I mean, even if it were, right. I mean, quite frankly, it defies logic that you even would do it. You know, no, why I get would it. They went searching for something. They tried to make what yeah. might a misdemeanor into a felony by using campaign finance laws and all the like. It, the wider conversation is because it plays into the Trump narrative of everybody's out to get him, right? That's what he's been saying all along. There's a second uh, Politico article that I'll put up here, uh, which takes the opposite side of that, which I also think is kind of interesting. It's how Donald Trump gets special treatment in the legal system. And the basic premise, if you read through it, is that, you know, he appointed some of the judges who are handling some of his cases, he's appointed three of the nine Supreme Court justices, which is it in, in, in your view? Everybody's out to get him or he's getting special treatment? There's no doubt that everybody's out to get him. I mean, many of these prosecutors that are prosecuting right now actually ran um, on a get Trump uh, platform. So there's no doubt that everyone is out to get him. I mean, I think that's that's clear. And they've done such a good job that, quite frankly, to some extent, they've, they've been able to somehow make this billionaire an underdog. I mean, you know, find yourself rooting for him, even if you're not politically aligned with him in some weird way. Could there be some um, places where they have a point and others that they don't? In other words, we talked about this, as you put it, flimsy case, in your view, whereas mm -hmm. uh, are some of the federal cases that Jack Smith's bringing January 6th uh, more substantive cases? Is that fair? Or? So I think, though, I think when they're talking about special treatment, I think what you have to do is really realize the difference between the man and the office. I don't think Donald Trump is getting special treatment unless we're talking about that they're out to get him because they, you know, they just don't like him and they want him to go down. Now, on the other hand, they are prosecuting not just a former president, which is bad enough, but the presumptive nominee, the person who is running for president right now. And so I think what you have that might be getting a, a different type of treatment, and arguably it should, is the prosecution of a former president and current leading presidential candidate. And that should be treated special because, right, because it's important that we get to vote for the people we want to vote to. That's a that's for that's a really important, you know, constitutional point that is the bedrock of our mm -hmm. society. And, you know, if any of these convictions stand, 
it's going to have you know huge implications on on the election, both now and and quite frankly forever, uh, with regard to you know our system of, of government. May I ask you so one final question on that? Do you believe we should have? Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.